Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video of Lost. Not Lost. <laughs> Portland Stonehawks franchise. Anyways, we're coming up for Lost against the Browns 31 28. A close game. Don't exactly remember that game. I kind of remember losing, but I don't remember playing the game in total. But, anyways, we end up with a loss. We are 5 and 6. We're going against the 4 and 7. Not 4 and 7. 7 and 4 Panthers. And, yeah, we are near the bottom of the division. This division is kind of tight, but also not really. Jets are 8-3, and three, Dolphins 6-5, and five. we're 5-6, five and six, but along with the Patriots being 5-6. and six. So, possibly could sneak in the wild card, maybe lose in the wild card game, win. Who knows? Anyways, getting up to upgrades right now. We only have two, Jalen Rager and uh, that guy. I think for Jalen Rager, he doesn't really play that much, but we're going to stick with slot because that is what you play first. Bush over to 78, plus two to awareness, one catching traffic, and two to catching. So, nothing I really wanted, but whatever. And for you, I think you could go pass coverage. Yeah, because your zone is like shitty. I mean, your block should get up also. I think I'm gonna put up your block shedding. Let's go run stopper. Which over to a 79. Let me get plus two block shedding. Plus four block shedding. Great. And he, we still got zone coverage, anyways. That's great. I wanna change your ability though. Mid zone KO? I'll go mid zone KO. I'll just leave it. And I think that's all we gotta get into for this intro. Very short intro. Straight into it. Uh, I feel like this is kind of a must-win game for us, but then again, they have Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack as their X Factor. So, even though we're deeming a, deeming this as a must-win game, it's like, <laughs> bro, they have one, two. I said one of the two, two of the best pass rushers in the NFL, if not the two best, and they have Cameron Hay Hayward. So it's like you're playing. I mean, they got Kelp. Oh, come back. They're, they're both edge rushers. Plus, this is also edge rush. So, he's probably going to play somewhere on a D line. And then you have Chris Harris, who is a good corner. And it's like, bro, this defense. We're, we're going to have a hard time today on offense, to say the least. Who's your quarterback? I think I see like a number one. Is that Cam Newton? No way that's Cam Newton as your quarterback. I mean, if it is, this. I didn't say it'll be an easy game, but nah, it's, facing Cam Newton's never gonna be an easy game. I don't even know what I'm talking about right there. Trey Kovo, even though um, sometimes he doesn't have good games, but as you see, 18 carries, 98 yards. His longest was 12 yards, so not 12 yards. Well, yes, 12 yards, actually. They have Kalumak actually playing like a linebacker. That's. That's one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, we actually got away. Cause Joey Bosa like immediately broke off, but he didn't he didn't tackle us. This should be an easy conversion. Alright. Never mind anything I just said. I'll just you know, just talking. Just talking. I couldn't tackle him. We could have probably got a loss, but I couldn't tackle him. Raheem Mostert. And he holds on. Are you serious? I popped him. There we go. All right, that's fourth down. That time they actually don't come around on third down, which is nice to see. So on both drives, we both end up punting. So I'm kind of happy with that. Throw it away, and it's gonna be intentional grounding. I swear, like <laughs> even though there's a receiver in the area, it's intentional grounding because they just know every time. I 
I literally can't do nothing, and I'm not gonna get nothing with this. Shit. Oh wow, he actually beat him, and that's a touchdown. I swear, that's the only way we score. If my man just beats him off the line like immediately, only way we'll ever score. We have to get a good touchdown on a third and 24, just man beater. Because I'm guaranteed it was a man. And they was. Like, I believe if my cornerbacks are not guarded by an elite to decent. Yeah, let me say elite to decent cornerback. Chris Godwin and CeeDee Lamb. I almost forgot who was on my team for a second. Chris Godwin, CD Lamb could literally be anybody. Like I said, it was like if it's not an elite to decent corner. I think they could be decent corners too, but let me just say that elite corners, like as long as they're not elite corners. I mean, yeah. I'm stuck on a line. It's like I'm stuck on the line. I'm trying to back up. But as soon as the ball's in the air, that's when I can back up. Isn't that fucking funny? Beautiful, beautiful play by me. Nice lurk. Really good lurk. Beautiful. Please tell me he converted that because he would not turn upfield at all. Alright, we're going with a dive again. Did not work out too good last time we fucking did a dive, but... Wow, I just got bumped. Oh, I just got bumped by like one of my own offensive linemen. We could have had like a 30 yard game possibly on that. I never would have got one. Should I put Godwin on a crossing? And see me on the corner. See what gets open here. Underneath. That's going to be a first down. Don't touch me. All right. Just making each of ourselves four 708 yards for Jericho. Jericho is playing decent so far. And I guarantee you, now that I say he's playing decent, he's not going to do that anymore. Wow, there we go. Trey Caldwell. Good run right there. That's the first. I say, don't show me inches, bro. But well, this is a hard spot on the field to score from. That's a touchdown. That is a touchdown. Let's go. Back to back touchdowns for Chris Godwin, actually. And that puts our lead 14 to 0. Look like we're really, really getting after it on offense. And I think overall we're just playing really good football right now. Um, so far at least. I don't know. I didn't really do nothing different. I didn't change the playbook. I didn't change the slide. I thought about changing the slides, but I'm like, nah, the game is like it's pretty even the way it is. Like I don't make too many incredible plays on either side of the ball, but I think we play decent. So far, Cam Newton, 3 of 6, 32 yards, 1 into. That's right, going to be the start of the second quarter. We had a very, very good first quarter. Let's see if we can keep it up here. Good tackle. That's a very good throw. Very good block, too. He just broke the tackle. Is that Robbie? No, it's not Robbie Anderson. I'm like, is this the actual Panthers? I thought it was Robbie Anderson still for some reason. No, I don't know why I thought that.
Um, all right. <laughs> they get a touchdown anyways. Uh, I didn't feel like we were going to stop them. I was kind of running a lot of blitzes towards the end of that drive. Just, I don't know. I really thought it was going to be some runs. They got the touchdown. If, and if they didn't, they're going to get the touchdown. They're going to say no. The tackle. Never mind. It's like I got in, but... What did it matter? Oh, what a way to hold on. Um, I got a little risky on that because I went rat catch. When I really should have went possession. Just to like secure it, but hey, rat catch worked. Alright, once again, third and six now. Another third down conversion we're going to need. I am coming under center, so, you know, great. You love being under center? Maybe I might have a one-on-one -on -one here. Nope. Actually fumbled a ball. They sent a blitz and we were just not prepared for it. We have a 57 yard field goal here. So, I don't even know if we could kick this. I don't even know what our longest like, range is. I'm guessing we have a good kicker, right? Actually, he's a little bit off. But, straight up the middle. Easy. 17 to 7 now. Alright. That drive wasn't too horrible. Obviously, we got a kind of a. A lucky catch on third down conversion. Not so lucky fumble that we end up recovering. And we end up getting three. That's what I hate sometimes, bro. They have nowhere to go, and then, well, you know, the flat is just open. It's just wide open. And they just break tackles. I mean, we know we're not a good tackling team. I think we established that a very long time ago. There we go. I actually checked down when they had a couple things open downfield. Just a couple, though. They're actually going five out now. I wonder what this can mean. Oh, there we go. I'm going to send pressure at him, but Rashawn Gary coming in with the sack, and that's going to be a fourth down. So I didn't really have confidence on defense to stop him right there. We end up do, and we're coming up on two minute warning, so great. So definitely two minute warning time. We kind of gained a few yards before that one went probably like five. And, uh, yeah. Now we got to get, I was going to say some points, but no, we got to get some yards. Have to get some yards on this. Wow, I did not see that guy. I swear I didn't. They actually called timeout because it's third down. Not a bad call. So I think this is going to be the right play on the field. There's a couple of deep routes, but I feel like it's going to be the right plays. So let's hope something gets open. And they're actually not blitzing us, so. We actually do catch it, but probably going to be coming back because it's probably going to be a holding call, as we guessed. John Feliciano is going to be a repeat of third down. Third and 19 here. It kind of wants to run the ball, but I really don't want to run it. I want to pass. And if we have time in the pocket, which we probably won't, but if we do have time in the pocket, I might be able to launch a deep one for Chris Godwin for his third touchdown of the game. Give me time. He was open, kind of. 
Like, with anticipation, I'm probably going to hit him, but we end up not being able to. Fourth and 19, going to have to punt right here. Let me give him the ball back. They do get ball at half also, so... And he goes down to Matthew Ioannidis. Gonna be third down here. They're gonna hurry up. I just missed. I'm just missing my tackles so hard right now. What is going on? There. And they're gonna call a timeout here. No, clock is still running. They they just blew it. A horrible clock management by the Panthers. But they will receive ball again, so yeah, a very bad clock management. You could have went uh could have had three right there and been down by a little less points. A little less than ten. He actually tried to run, and Cam Newton ends up getting sacked right there by Tracy Walker. It's going to be second and 11 here. Good tackle by me. Really good way to read that out. I mean, so far to start this third quarter, um, Cam Newton it doesn't look like he's really in it right now. Can somebody get some pressure, please? Wow. This is why we need to get pressure. Because if you have all day in the pocket, we're not going to be able to defend those secondary routes. Almost ever. Oh my god, that was so bad. What the fuck did we do? Nothing good, so it's gonna be 17 to 14 here. Not really good defense. It's, the only reason they converted is because they had that fucking lucky third down play where pressure did not get in for some reason, and whatever. I mean, they must have a good offensive line. I think our defensive line is, isn't bad, but I don't even know why we couldn't even get in. It didn't even look like we almost got in there. All right, I need this. Because Chris Godwin could be so open over here, or I could just hit underneath. There we go. Good catch, Chris. Really good catch. Wow. That time, actually, our lineman bumping us to the outside actually kind of worked in our favor. Because we would have kept running up, we would have never got the yards we got right there. There we go. Easy. Linebacker not ready for that one at all. And Trey Galwell gets the touch now. That is our own. Nah, was that? No, nah, I don't. I think it's our third straight touchdown, honestly. Is it the third straight? It might not be. Regardless, another touchdown on the board for us. 24 to 14 now. And they go short. It's going to be, what, like, third and four, third and three, third and two, actually. Interesting. So I might suspect they go short again. I might even suspect a run here. 
could not get in. But you don't do him getting that first down. Raheem Mostert not having a good game so far. Nine rushes, 35 yards, only one touchdown. That's me. I'm literally right there. If I just slide to the left a little bit, try to go for an intel, we get that. But that's not what happened. Oh my god, he could have been gone. I literally, I mo I switched on and moved him out the way. Not what you want to do right there. Blitzing. Good breakup right there. Something we don't see a lot of out of my teams, man. Oh my gosh. Just not there. Alright, third and three right here. A run would not be surprising. And a run is what they actually do. And he almost got in on that. Very close. Ronald Jones, actually. So it's fourth quarter time. They kind of need a lot of points fast. Not really a lot, just can you score quickly? And we stop him. He lands on the one, though. It's like we can't get consistent pressure inside, bro. And uh, even though we're in coverage, they just not, cannot keep up with him. So, it's going to put it 21 to 24 at this point in the game. We have a lot of time left, though. Um, going to be down by three. So, just, I would say just waste time. But there's fucking a whole 9.29 left on the clock. There's no such thing as a wasting time right now. Play your game. Play, play your game. Do what's been working. Runs have been working. Chris Godwin has been working. Other receivers, I guarantee, have been working too. You see, Chris Godwin one day, four receptions, 158 yards, two touchdowns. A really good day for him. He's having a wonderful day. We're going to flip this so he can block on this side because it makes more sense. And hope something gets open. Like that. Easy. Go out of bounds. Time does not stop, but still, go out of bounds. In total offense, we're 20th, but well, we have 120 something yards So it doesn't matter what we're ranked, it just matters what you do. What I want to do here, I want to put Caldwell on a wheel. And I think these are the plays I want. We get that. And he holds on. Chris Godwin. Big yards. My number one receiver is actually playing like a number one receiver right now. Jared Goff is actually getting time to throw. And the receivers are creating space. So we're having a good day here so far. Believe in Trey Colby, we do. And he gets right up there. We're first and goal on the five yard line this time. All right, we're on the three. Like, we're one of the worst passing offenses today, but we're definitely just tearing them up. I think, obviously, here, uh, it's like a run's not the call, but. I think I'm going to run and still go for on fourth down if they don't do this. But no need to do that because Trey Colwell literally just muscles through the defensive line and gets himself a second touchdown of the game. Literally just muscles through anybody who touched him. 
any man in front of him. He even muscled through his own lineman. He's gonna put it 31 to 21. Up by 10 once again. Having a really, really good game. This whole team really having a good game. I mean, on defense, we're obviously giving up stuff that's putting our offense in. Not a tough de decision, but it's putting us in a decision where we have to get points. And we are, we're, we're, we're doing it. Um, we had the ball for almost five minutes. We had the ball at like 9.20 something. We're giving it back at 5.30 something. Well, at 5.30. So yeah, not bad. I'm gonna run hard flat, see what it does. Wow, hard flats worked. Jeffrey Simmons. Come away with the sack. Just hoping no one gets anything. Big hit, fumble out of bounds. And they're going to be forced to punt. I don't know if they should go for this. They actually are going to go for this. Smart call. I mean, they gained the yards they kind of needed to get. And now they're, they're where they need to be. Hey, Into. Is that who I think it is? Darnell Savage. I didn't think it was Darnell Savage, though. It looks like we could possibly walk out of here with the W. We're going to put two o'clock on just run the ball out a little bit. Let me play action right here. They might be expecting a run, so this could be fucking perfect. There we go. Beautiful. Getting out of bounds. Kind of didn't want to get out of bounds, but... I'm going to... What am I going to say? Recovering? Converting, that's what I want to see. Recovering. Quick one, so I'm recovering. And then we got another rushing touchdown for Trey Caldwell. His third rushing touchdown of the game. Trey Caldwell's really having a good day today, man. Three rushing touchdowns over 100 yards. Oh, they actually ran a screen. Definitely did not look like they ran the screen. Fooled me, obviously. Oh, that's me, bro. I sent them to go after him, and as soon as I sent it, he threw it. I mean, Cam has over 300 passing yards today, so there's that. There's no way. How did he complete that? Into. So they end up not scoring another touchdown there. We're actually going to walk out of here with a victory. Kind of a surprising victory here on the road, man. Um, I, I'm, I'm kind of shocked how well we played. Even on both sides of the ball. I think defense is a little bit more underwhelming than the offense was. But the offense was just surprising. Very surprising that we was getting them rushes with Trey Caldwell. We was getting them touchdowns with Chris Godwin. Them yards with Chris Godwin. He had like four receptions for 150 yards and two touchdowns at one point. I think he had more towards the end of the game. But yeah, he played really fucking well. Upsetting this team. Cam Newton obviously got more yards in this because if you think about it, he's going downfield like he's throwing it deep at max five to seven times a game. When I say deep, that's like tw at least 20 yards, right? That's not even really deep if you would think about it. He's throwing at least 20 yards, and that's five, five to seven times the entire game. And the rest of the, the yards are literally three or four yards. He might gain a little bit with like – run after the catch, but and that's why he has 311. Like, can we check his longest yards? A 55 pass. A 55... A 55 yard pass. I said 55 pass. A 55 yard pass was his longest reception. Well, 
Yeah, reception technically. Anyways, he had 311 yards, two touchdowns, two intos. Jared Goff had a very impressive game, only missing six throws. That's probably the lowest note he'll ever miss. 269 yards, kind of nice. And two touchdowns, no intos. No intos is a big, big thing for Jared Goff in this. Uh, Trey Caldwell, very good rushing number, 121 yards. 4.6 on the ground, almost 5 on the ground. Very good. I mean, him and Raheem most had the same amount of yards. Average on the ground. A little more carries, though. Three touchdowns. Raheem most had three. Only had 65 yards, though. And receiving was a big deal in this game. Chris Godwin had six receptions for 204 yards and two touchdowns. He averaged 34 per catch, basically. Um, who else on our team? C. Lamb had three receptions for 46 yards. Josh Gordon had three receptions for 22 yards. Trey Caldwell had two receptions for negative nine yards. Who deserves to be a thumbnail? Um, I'm going to go Trey Caldwell. He had three uh, receiving touchdowns. Not receiving. Rushing touchdowns. I think he deserves it. And he's a rookie, so, you know. Big victory here in week 13, right? It's week 13. Moving on to week 14 now. Big team win, and we're going to have a divisional matchup next week against the Dolphins. We move on to 6-6. Six and six. They lose, and obviously move on to 7-5. Maybe we're in the playoffs next week. Maybe we're not. We have a breakout player in possibly. Ooh, there's actually going to be a key matchup here. Uh, we have a big uh, matchup in, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, something about breakout player, right? I said something about, uh, it probably could be... I think it would be Chris Godwin to show this picture. So it could be, I think it's going to be Trey Caldwell. I think it has to be Trey Caldwell at this point. So anyways, move on to 6-6. Six and six. We are second in the division, kind of tied with the Dolphins at this point. Um, did we beat the Dolphins this season? I really don't remember. So yeah, technically, a lot of 6-6 six and six teams. That's going to be the Broncos, Titans, Snowhawks, obviously us, and the Dolphins. So we went against the Dolphins, we could... Uh, probably get in the playoffs like i said we don't we probably just drop out like completely because it'll be mathematically impossible because how many weeks do we have left literally i think yeah we have to win out like maybe we lose in one game and that has to be against the saints we could lose against so we have to beat all these aoc teams in these three weeks and i don't know if we can do that i don't remember facing the dolphins i don't remember their team like that but i could check what we did face the dolphins but i don't we don't remember facing the Dolphins or the Titans or the Jets. So, yeah, we faced the Jets. We lost by three in week five. We faced the Dolphins. We beat them by what? Five? I guess. I think that's five. Wait, do you, you know math? Uh, we beat them already. So, technically. Technically, we would, be, we would be good. I mean, if you look at the way we had a season went, we started with two hot wins, right? Then we just completely played horrible. Got killed by the Colts, killed by the Texans, close game against the Jets. Got murdered by the Patriots, 13-73, our worst loss in franchise history. Went against the Bucks, losing against the Jags. Went against Dolphins, went against Patriots, lose against the Browns, went against Panthers. So it was an up and down season for us. Like we went on a start of the week, start off very strong. We lose very hard, very defeating. Come back win, come back lose, come back win two, come back lose one, come back win one. So like I said, we have to to end, to end this uh, season. We have to go. We have to go three and one at least. That's the worst we could do, 3-1. and one. Obviously, we want to go 4 and in these last four games, but have to go 3-1. and one. Like, that's... And we're going to last game. So, must win throughout here to make the playoffs. Uh, I'm going to check my draft picks, and then I'm going to get out of here. So, currently, with the Eagles pick, we have an 11th in the draft, and with our pick, we have a 13th. So, like I said, top 15 picks in the draft. I would rather top 10s. But, you know, we can make some trades in free agency, possibly before the draft, possibly in the draft, making things happen. Anyways, next week, 
Dolphins must win throughout these next four games. And yeah, I think that's going to do it for us. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like on the video if you are enjoying the series. Subscribe if you're subscribed. Easy way to support other than liking the video. And yeah, that's going to do it for me. See you next week. Peace.